Hi, and welcome to Question Mark. At my workshops, I always talk about alkali-resistant fasteners. Well, this week, I got a question asking me, Hey, Mark, what is it with drywall screws and cement board screws? What's the difference? Is it just the heads, or do they corrode or something? Well, here's the answer. Cementitious backer units, or CBUs, and fiber cement backer board are made out of Portland cement. Portland cement is alkaline, running at about a 12.5 or 13 out of 14 on the pH scale. That means it can be corrosive. Gypsum is the material used to make drywall. On the pH scale, gypsum is neutral, which means it's not corrosive. So we can use a phosphate coated drywall screw like this one to install drywall. This one won't corrode in drywall because gypsum is not corrosive, but it will corrode in backer board or fiber cement backer board made out of Portland cement because its properties are alkaline. They are corrosive. So what we have to do is get a fastener like this one that is alkali resistant. It has a larger head so it won't pull through the board. It has flukes or nibs on the bottom of the head to help it stay in place. And it's got serrated threads near the tip to help drive it through the fiber cement board. More than anything, it's alkali resistant. For cement board, we can use a screw like this that has a high-low thread pattern to help drive it through the board. It has the nibs or flukes to keep it firmly in place and that larger diameter head. And this one has a T25 Torx bit head. They come in various lengths and sizes and I use an auto feed with this type of strip of screws to install on floors. Works great, saves me a lot of trouble and I use an impact driver to do the rest. Unless the board manufacturer says it's acceptable to fasten the board with a galvanized roofing nail. Then I'll just use my hammer. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Question Mark.